Semia upma or more commonly known as chow ke bhat is a very common breakfast in South Indian homes. Here's a variation of that and we are adding the flavors of mint and other spices to it to make it more interesting. This is a no onion no garlic recipe and it's great for lunch boxes. Let's see how to make this pudina chow ke bhat. Hello and welcome to Spices and More. To start with, let's roast the semia or shavike. Here I've taken two cups of semia. If you're using roasted semia, then you can skip this step. I'm roasting it on low heat and I'm adding one teaspoon of ghee to the semia. And let's continue roasting. I'm roasting totally for about two to four minutes. We're looking for the semia to be light, golden and aromatic and let's make sure all the time that the heat is low. My semia looks perfectly roasted now. That's the perfect color. Let's keep this aside now and get the tempering ready. I've taken about four tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add one teaspoon of ghee to that which is optional. I'm adding a tablespoon of mustard seeds and cumin seeds and once they start to splutter I'm going to add a tablespoon of urad dal and a tablespoon of chana dal and quarter cup of cashews to this. Let's roast these until brown. They're nice and golden brown now. I'm adding quarter teaspoon of turmeric and now I'm going to add one cup each of sliced beans, carrots and peas. Let's saute these for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add some salt, just enough for the vegetables to absorb and a couple of tablespoons of water. It's important to make sure we are not adding too much water to this. So let's cover and cook that and while that's cooking let's get the masala ready. I've taken half cup of grated coconut, a few green chilies, a couple of inches of ginger, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, two inches of cinnamon, two cloves and two cardamom pods. I'm now adding a bunch of mint leaves to this. You can also add some coriander at this point if you want and I'm adding a quarter cup of water. Again, it's very important to make sure we're not adding too much water. Let's blend this into a smooth paste. That's the perfect texture that we are looking for. Let's check if the vegetables are ready now. They look perfect. I'm now going to add a cup of sliced capsicum to this and saute it for a couple of minutes. Let's add the blended masala now. I've taken totally two cups of water. Again, it's very important to make sure you're using the right quantity of water in this. We need to take equal measures of water and semia for that perfect semia texture that we want as the end result. Let's give this a good mix. We'll cover and bring this to a boil, which may take about two minutes. The water is nicely boiling now. So let's add some salt and then add the roasted semia to this boiling water. Make sure you are stirring and mixing immediately after you add the semia. This will prevent any lumps of semia forming and make sure you're mixing it well. Let's cover and simmer this for about three to five minutes until the semia is well cooked. After about five minutes, my semia looks perfect. It's very well cooked, but it's not mushy. I'm adding the extract of half a lemon. This is optional. Lemon not only brings a good tangy taste, 
but also helps retain the color of the pudina or mint. Our pudina shalge bath looks perfect and it is best served with a simple raita or coconut chutney. As it's a no onion, no garlic recipe, this is really good for lunch boxes or picnics or even for breakfast. If you've liked this recipe, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please do subscribe to Spices and More and share with your family and friends so that they can enjoy my recipes as well. Until next time, take care.